Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Shamin. Today I am going to teach you gametogenesis in flowering plants. Okay, so let's get started. Male gametes are produced in the anther and female gametes in the ovals. Okay, so yeah, and inside the anthers, diploid pollen mother cells divide by meiosis to form four haploid cells. Okay, so and the nuclei of each of these haploid cells then divide by mitosis uh, but the cell itself does not divide cytokinesis or does not take place and resulting in cells that each contain two haploid nuclei these cells mature into pollen grains and each surrounded by a protective wall made up of a tough axine and thinner in the one of the haploid nuclei is called the tube nucleus and the other is the generative nucleus these are the male gametes okay so i need to take a break inside each oval a large diploid spore mother cell develops this cell divides by meiosis to produce four haploid cells all but one of these generates and the one surviving haploid cells develop into one embryo sac and the embryo sac grows larger and its haploid nucleus divides by mitosis three times forming eight haploid nuclei one of these becomes the female gametes Fertilization occurs when a male gametes from a pollen grain fuses with a female gametes inside an ovum. Inside a oval, these forms a diploid zygote which grows into an embryo plant. So note that in plants, unlike animals, the gametes are not formed directly by meiosis. Okay. And instead, meiosis is used in the production of pollen grains, and the embryo sac and the gametes are then formed inside these structures by mitotic division. So, guys, that's all. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your family and friend. That's all.